Greetings to you wherever you are watching me from. So, I thought I'd share a video of how I sometimes cover my square cakes this time around using the Parnelli method. So, as you can see from this video, I have already baked my cake, torted in them into layers, filled them with buttercream, stacked them and of course ganached it. At this point in time, I have cut out a square piece of fondant. Actually, before I did that, I had already measured my cake in terms of height and width so that I have a rough idea of the piece of square fondant I would be cutting. So I've cut out, using that guide, I have cut out a square piece of fondant to cover the top first. And as you can see from the video, I am trimming the sides of the uh, of the top uh, cover to ensure a smooth cut cut i've then proceeded to covering um the alternate sides of my square cake now i am smoothing out both sides both of alternate sides using my cake smoothers yes the cake smoother is very very important it helps with smoothing out your cake and ensuring that it is properly glued that your fondant is probably glued to the cake as you can see i had I have, i'm using a pair of scissors to cut out the excess fondant from my two sides and then pro proceeded again to continuing using my two cake smoothers to smooth out the cake and then using my parry knife and my cake smoother to continue to cut off excess fondant from the um, uh, size, covered size of the cake. Those tools are very important. That is the cake smoother and also my parry knife and my flexi smoother, which you're going to see shortly in the video. So I've just simply proceeded to smoothing out my cake my cake size ensuring that there are no visible air bubbles and if there are getting rid of them and then getting rid of excess fondant using my cake smoother as a guide and my paring knife to cut the excess fondant i have now proceeded to covering the two alternate remainder side of the cake basically going through the same process as I did in the earlier um, two, in the earlier covering of the earlier two sides. Uh, of course, I didn't mention earlier, I used water and a clean kitchen towel to apply uh, applying it on my ganache to act, act as an adhesive of the, for the fondant to sit on the cake. Again, I'm basically doing what I did earlier for the first two sides, smoothing out my cake size using fondant smoother and also using my scissors to cut off any excess fondant. I, I, I'm sure you would, uh, to cover, it is very, very um, time consuming and in fact daunting to cover square cakes. I usually use two methods to cover my square cakes. Sometimes I use the uh, dripping method wherein, whereby I roll out a large piece of fondant and simply drip it over my cake and then uh, continue with the smoothing out. As, as, as like that however when sometimes when i'm covering large square cakes i use this method this is called the panel method it kind of make it a bit easier to cover when you're to 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 go to use when you're covering a large piece of cake uh, i'm just simply using now my cake smoother as you can see to pull towards each other the sides of this corners to ensure and then cut off the excess this is to ensure a sharp finish i'm doing that on all four corners of the cake and also on the top four corners of the cake as you can see simply gently and uh, simply and gently put using my, my cake smoother pulling the fondant towards each other to now cut um, to cut off the excess that kind of gives that fine and um, thin a corner effect and as you can see in the video also I'm using a pin to get rid of any visible excess um, air, I'm sorry any visible air bubble um, my parry knife my cake smoothers and of course my flexi smoother they're very very effective for this purpose getting a smooth finish on any cake whatsoever especially a square cake as you can see so much um, Flexi smoother earlier. It's blue in color. It's flexible. Uh, what I'm just basically doing, just 
doing everything I can, using the, all the available tools I have to simply get a smooth finish around my square cake and corners. That's the finished um, covered square cake. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up, leave, leave me a comment, and I will appreciate your subscription. Thank you and bye for now.